when it comes to dealing with narcissistic people, it's a bit like dealing with a unruly toddler that you are not allowed to discipline. Narcissistic people are those unruly toddlers in adults' bodies that never learn how to take responsibility for themselves, never learned how to be pleased for other people, never learned how to manage, cope by themselves. They're seeking that external validation, never learned how to apologise for the things that they've done wrong, never learned how other people sort of fit and mould society by getting along and working together and helping each other out. They're that person who is incredibly jealous of their friends and their family and wants what anybody else has got. They are that toddler who sits there wanting what anyone else has got and then as soon as they've got it, they no longer want it. They want what somebody else has got. And then as soon as they've got it, they no longer want it. They're just ungrateful for what they have and unappreciative and accuse everyone else of being ungrateful and unappreciative and seek to just take from others and believe that it's okay to just take from others. Almost like that child that took a toy off another child and was just told, oh, it's okay, they're young. So they never learned. They then believe that they can just go and take somebody's car, usually in many manipulative ways, because they believe that it's just theirs and you should share with them. However, they're very unwilling to share with you. When it comes to broken hearts, narcissistic people break you down. They take every essence of who you are as a person and they devalue you. They make you feel like you are no longer enough as a person. They make you feel like you're, you don't know whether you're coming and go or going. You no longer know what you are good at. You feel like you do everything wrong. You're apologising everything. They break your spirit. They take your dreams, they take your family, they take your hobbies, they take your finances, they take your health, they take your wealth and then they abandon you and blame you and smear your name and ruin your career and go all out to destroy you and break your heart in the process. When it comes to narcissistic pe people, it's Yes, lies and deception and cheating is going to hurt anybody, but it's not those things that tend to hurt a narcissist because most genuine that people aren't doing those things to a narcissistic person. The narcissistic person is lying and cheating and deceiving the genuine people. So the things that hurt a narcissist, the things that break a narcissistic person's heart are the things that hurt toddlers, the things that upset toddlers. The things that send unruly toddlers into their tantrums and fits, which is the narcissist's anger and rage, which they know exactly when to rein in if there's potential witnesses to their behaviour, who they don't want to witness the narcissist's display of behaviour. They know how to rein these things in. However, they know behind closed doors how to rage out to get people to walk on eggshells and fawn to their behaviour. So things that hurt a narcissist is other people being happy. Narcissistic people cannot stand other people's happiness. They're incredibly envious and they believe that other people have got something that they haven't or something that they want or that other people have stolen something from them. So they go all out to either latch onto the person to enjoy the ride with the person or to take it from another person. And yet, just like that unruly toddler, once they've got it, they see something else. They see somebody with something, something else that they want and they then drop it and move on. 
they cannot stand seeing other people happy. Your happiness hurts a narcissistic person. Therefore, if they see your happiness, that's when they usually go all out to sabotage it and ruin it for you. So people will say, if you want revenge, show them you're living happily. This isn't wise with a narcissistic person. They lack empathy and they're going to come and try and destroy your happiness for you. Therefore, moving on and being happy without them knowing works well for both parties. You get to be happy. The narcissist has no clue and will not come back and attack you. Not getting their own way. Just like that unruly toddler that's going to stamp their feet and scream and shout and drop to the floor and beg and plead and give those little puppy dog eyes or do something really nice to try and get their own way. Manipulating their parents. Not that they know this because... It's just trial and error through life. They're just learning. They're just developing. They're just growing. And most parents will teach the children between the difference between right and wrong and that you can't just stomp your feet to get your own way. When it comes to a adult narcissistic person, they're looking to get their own way, which is why they're going to not take no for an answer. They're going to pity play. They're going to sulk. They're going to fall silent. They're going to guilt trip. They're going to threaten. They're going to do all they can because they want their own way. And not getting their own way criticises who they are as a person because they've grown to become used to getting everything their own way. So this hurts a narcissistic person. This doesn't mean you should give them their own way because once they've got something they're just going to go after more. This means you need to distance yourself from them. Say no, mean your no, let them know they're not going to get their own way with you and unfortunately they do move on to another target. Not being the centre of attention. Most young children do like getting attention they like being validated they like learning what they're good at and what they're they don't particularly like learning what they're not so good at however they can develop what they're good at on what they're not so good at they enjoy getting validation from their parents narcissistic people take a real dislike to not be in the center of attention this is why they ruin special occasions and ruin other people's birthdays because they believe the world revolves around them they'll accuse you of making the world revolve around you they'll say to you the royal doesn't revolve around you because to them it revolves around them so it hurts them when they're not getting the attention and the praise that they believe they're entitled to even if they've done nothing to earn it other people remaining calm just like that toddler that's having that tantrum because things aren't going their way that toddler's looking for a reaction from the peers around them they're looking to see how people respond to them because they're learning how to behave in society so when a narcissistic person is trying to bait you into reacting in some way, when they're trying to goad you, when they're trying to provoke you, or when they're trying to influence you, when they're trying to tempt you into reacting in a certain manner that serves the narcissist, whether that's them love bombing you, so they're trying to tempt you into the relationship, or whether that's them offending you, so they're trying to tempt you into defending yourself to them. When you remain calm, when they can't get that emotional reaction from you, this offends them, this hurts them. This can trigger a narcissistic injury, which can trigger narcissistic rage because they've lost control over your emotions and they're looking to regain control so that they can regain control of the situation, to feel in control of themselves, being called out or exposed. Nobody, we all make mistakes, nobody particularly enjoys being called out on a mistake they've made. We can all be embarrassed, we can all be ashamed narcissistic people when they get called out on their behavior 
they're going to go all out to gaslight you into believing that in some way it was your fault because they don't want to be exposed or they're going to go all out to bring you down so that they can feel superior to you. Not agreeing with them, not having the same opinion as them. They're going to turn into the victim and say, oh, I knew you'd take their side. Oh, I knew you'd never see my point of view. Their projection, because they're never interested in seeing your point of view unless it matches their own. However, if you don't see their point of view, or even if you do see their point of view, most often you're going to see their point of view. You just don't agree with it. The narcissist is going to be offended. This is going to trigger a narcissistic injury because it hurts them to the core. And they then seek to punish you, just like indifference. When you've just grown tired of the games, when you're just no longer interested in dealing with them, when you're just no longer interested in listening to them, they're going to play the victim and accuse you of never listening to them, even though you've spent years listening to them and got nowhere with them because you can't communicate with them because they're only interested in getting everything their own way because you've given them the benefit of the doubt because you've tried to help them out but you've just not got anywhere so you've literally been worn down to the point where you've given up and that indifference offends a narcissist and they again seek to punish you because their feelings have been hurt there's nothing you can do that's that's who they are however when a narcissistic person's feelings are hurt they go through that anger stage, which most of us do, and they go through the revenge stage, which most of us do. The thing that holds most people back on revenge, most people can feel angry, most people can feel the need for revenge. It's not revenge they're after, it's usually justice that a person is after. However, when it comes to a genuine person and revenge, we have things such as compassion and empathy that will hold them back to a degree. We can all lose it. However, the majority of the time, most people, that empathy will hold them back. With a narcissistic person, they lack that empathy. So there's nothing holding them back from hurting you, from punishing you, from punishing those that the narcissist believes has gone against them by simply just not agreeing with them, leaving them. Narcissistic people fear abandonment, which is almost why they create that codependency in those around them, because that codependency keeps people trapped with them when people reality in reality are just living in fear of the narcissist. <laughs> Therefore, they've got no choice but to fawn in order to survive. So a narcissist creates that codependency in those around them to stop people from abandoning them. However, the narcissist will happily line up a new supply and abandon the old supply for the new supply. But just like that young baby that's, that's learned how to crawl and suddenly recognises that, oh, I can move. They can move. They've left the room. They've left me and screams blue murder until the parent comes back in and they have that separation anxiety that they eventually do grow out of with the comfort and support of their parents. Narcissistic people throw major tantrums when people finally have enough of the narcissist behaviour that the narcissist doesn't believe is their problem and leave the narcissist this is why they can go into the extensive hoovers where they're looking to suck you back in so that they can treat you like dirt and be the one to discard you or where they're going to go on the smear campaigns because they're looking to punish you for daring to leave them. And it's not just a case of leaving them on a permanent basis. It can be just going out with your friends or your family that then they've suddenly planned a nice evening together to make you feel bad. They'll, they'll happily abandon you. However, you should never abandon them because it hurts who they are. It, it shakes them. Which is why when it comes to leaving a narcissist, the time of leaving is the most dangerous point, which is why you shouldn't pre-warn them. You just need to find a safe way out 
for your own sanity, for your own health. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around these people if you cannot go no contact, and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to or have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.